Okay, Dr. H here, and this lesson is going to cover cell cycle and mitosis. So beginning with the cell cycle, remember this is the overall cell growth pattern. Uh, see here, most of the cell cycle is spent in what's called interphase, which is divided into a few stages. Uh, first is G1, which stands for growth or gap one. Uh, and that's where the cell does a lot of its growing, it gets, uh, increases in size, uh, it spends a lot of its time here kind of doing its job of whatever kind of cell type it is. Uh, follow, that follows with the S phase. S stands for DNA synthesis, and that is where DNA replication occurs. And then there is a shorter uh, second gap called gap 2 or growth 2, where the cell checks over its DNA and gets ready for the actual division phases of mitosis, which is sort of division of the nucleus, and cytokinesis, which is division of the cytoplasm and all of the organelles. Uh, in a typical, eu typical eukaryotic cell, this can take anywhere around 24 hours or so, on the actual mitosis part, usually around 80 minutes. And as you can imagine, this process is very tightly controlled in eukaryotic cells. And down here, we kind of see some of the, what we call checkpoints of the cell cycle, these sort of red uh, stopping points, so to speak. Um, if we think of this as sort of the spinning dial going around, it would have to stop and make sure cer certain things are in place or done correctly. The main checkpoint is this one right here called the, the G1S checkpoint, even though it's a little bit uh, away from the G1S border. Uh, it's also called the R point or restriction point, meaning that if the cell gets through this checkpoint, okay, it's most likely going to complete the cell cycle. Uh, but what the cell looks at here at the G1S checkpoint is, uh, is there any DNA damage? And if there is an extensive amount of DNA damage, uh, the cell can actually eliminate itself. Uh, moderate amount of DNA damage, the cell will probably try to just repair that and move on. Uh, moving on down here, the G2 checkpoint, uh, that looks over the DNA which has just been replicated and makes sure that everything is okay and the rep replication has completed before going on into the mitosis. And this checkpoint here in the middle of mitosis, the M checkpoint, uh, there's a point in the in my, during mitosis where all the chromosomes line up and it double checks that to make sure that everything is attached okay. So let's take a look at mitosis a little bit closer. And I am not a big stages of mitosis person so I'm not overly concerned with the names of all these stages and you can see they're not even listed on the slide here. I'm more interested in knowing the events of mitosis and the order that these things occur. This is, some things have to happen before the next stage, the next step can occur. So starting here, uh, this would be a typical interphase cell. Um, everything is going along smoothly. The DNA here in the nucleus is in the relaxed state called chromatin. So you can see the DNA looks like it's just a big jumble there in the nucleus. Um, and the nuclear envelope uh, separating the nucleus and the cytoplasm is completely intact. So sort of moving on into some of the early events of mitosis here, um, we see that the DNA has condensed into what we call chromosomes, these uh, typical two-armed structures. Remember, each arm is called a chromatid, uh, sister chromatids to be exact, and they are exact copies of each other. They are formed during DNA replication, during S phase. Also, out here in the cytoplasm, we see uh, the centrosomes beginning to move apart, and these mitotic spindles, these fibers, kind of growing out from each of them. Okay, and they will continue these centrosomes will continue to move to opposite sides of the cell until they finally here reach the two poles, so they are directly opposite each other. Uh, by this time, the nuclear envelope has been completely broken down. So you can see here there's just a few little pieces of it left. Um, but before mitosis goes any further, that will completely disappear. 
And these spindle fibers are beginning to attach to each chromosome. Uh, this little central part here in the middle of the chromosome um, is the centromere. So each spindle fiber or a spindle fiber will attach on each side of each chromosome. So one spindle fiber up from this way, one spindle fiber down that way. So each chromosome will be attached to each pole of the cell. Then uh, the spindle fibers will sort of work to move all the chromosomes in line in the center of the cell here, kind of this invisible plate called the metaphase plate, because that's what this is actually called metaphase, the stage here. Uh, and as I mentioned on the previous slide, the, my, the mitosis checkpoint occurs here. Uh, the cell just makes sure that all of the chromosomes are correctly attached to both of the spindle, uh, both spindle apparatuses on either side of the cell, and that everything is lined up correctly. So once it passes that checkpoint, uh, the spindle fibers pretty rapidly begin to shorten, and this pulls these sister chromatids apart. So you think of the chromatids kind of sitting like this, then they get pulled to either side of the cell. So that's why they kind of look like little V's or upside down V's from the top here, because uh, they're being pulled from the center. The, the spindle fibers are shortening up. Okay, and then this signals kind of the end of mitosis, and then the very last stages here, all the things that happened at the beginning sort of happened in reverse. So the DNA begins to decondense back into chromatin. Uh, the nuclear envelope comes back. Uh, I didn't really mention anything about the nu nucleolus, but that does this little dark structure in the middle of the, uh, in the nucleus does disappear during mitosis. Um, so that comes back and the cell reverts back to an interface state. Uh, as you know, as you remember from the cell cycle, it's a big circle. So after mitosis, it goes back to the beginning of interphase. The other thing that's happening here, and you can kind of see, is this uh, cleavage furrow is forming. And that is part of cytokinesis. Now, in animal cells, uh, this cleavage furrow forms, and it's, it's this ring of protein fibers that form around the membrane and sort of pinch, you know, get smaller and smaller. Uh, you can see it this in the micrograph here, and then on the diagram you see it kind of pinching the cell together. And eventually, because the membrane is kind of fluid, it will pinch it in two, and the cells will actually will then physically separate. And now we have the two daughter cells, which are now two interphase cells. The other picture here, this is uh, in plant cells. Remember, plant cells have the rigid cell wall, so they can't just get pinched in half. Uh, so cytokinesis happens a little bit differently. There's this, uh, these vesicles kind of butt off from the Golgi apparatus and kind of align themselves in the middle of the two halves of the cell. And those vesicles start to fuse and form this structure called a cell plate and that eventually fuses with the two existing cell walls on the two sides and forms the new cell wall, and that separates the two daughter cells. Okay, so that's mitosis. Really pretty simple. Um, remember, not too big on the stages. Just make sure you know the events and the order that they occur.